here is another example of how to solve mixture problems in algebra. Let's read the problem. It says here that a mixture of 12% alcohol is to be made from 15% alcohol and 9% alcohol. How much of each is to be used to end up with 30 liters? All right, the best way to do a problem like this is to kind of graphically represent that. So let's draw one box here plus another box equals a third box. And each of these boxes represents the solution. So let this represent the 15% alcohol. Let this represent the 9% alcohol. And let this represent what you eventually end up with is a solution of 12% alcohol. We already know that you're going to end up with 30 liters of 12% alcohol, but you don't know how much you need for each of these. But you do know that they both add up to 30 liters. So if this can be represented by x, meaning you'll use x liters of 15% solution, then you know the remainder must be made up by the 9% solution. The remainder can be written as 30 liters minus x. Now each of these contains a certain amount of alcohol, even though of however many liters you have here, only 15% of it is alcohol. When you multiply these two together, that gives you the total amount of alcohol in this solution. If you multiply these two together, then you have the total amount of alcohol in this solution. And of course, however much you have here, plus how much, however much you have here, must add up to how much alcohol you have in that solution. And to find the amount of alcohol you have in this solution, you also must multiply these two together, which means that 15% times x plus 9% times 30 minus x is equal to 12% times 30. And now all you have to do here is solve that equation for x. The first thing we probably want to do is get rid of the percent and write it as a decimal. So we have 0.15 times x plus 0.09, let me put parentheses around it just to kind of keep it clean, 0.09 times 30 minus x is equal to 0.12 or 0 0.12 times 30. It's probably a better idea that I put a zero in front of these, so let me do that. It's a little bit cleaner. So 0 0.15 and 0 0.09 Let's get a little lazy there. Don't want to get lazy, you want to do this right. All right, the next thing we want to do is get rid of the decimals. We have two decimal places here, two decimal places here, two decimal places there. So by multiplying each side equation by 100, we can get rid of these decimal places. All right, so multiply this times 100, multiply this times 100. So 100 times this gives me 15, so this becomes 15x. 100 times this gives me a 9, so plus 9 times 30 minus x equals, and 100 times this, that becomes 12 times 30. Now all we have left to do here before we can go ahead and finally solve that equation is get rid of the parentheses, so we multiply the 9 times both the 30 and the x, so we get 15x plus 9 times 30 is 270, 9 times a minus x is a minus 9x, equals 12 times 30 is 360. Now we go ahead and move all the x's to one side. They're already on the left side and move all the numbers to the other side. So let's take the 270 and move it over here. So we have 15x minus 9x equals 360 minus, remember when you cross the equal sign, the sign changes. This is minus 270. 15x minus 9x is 6x. 360 minus 270 is 90. Divide both sides by the coefficient in front of the x. So we get x equals 90 divided by 6, which is 15. x equals 15. All right, going back up here and say x was the number of liters we had of the 15% solution. And 30 minus x, since x is 15, ah, we also need 15 liters for the 9% solution. So the answer... Since x is equal to 15, we need 15 liters of the 15% alcohol solution and 
30 minus 15, that means 15 liters of the 9% alcohol solution. And that's how you do these types of mixture problems. Okay, notice that if you put it into a nice little graphical format, this represents the 15% alcohol solution, this represents a 9% alcohol solution, and this represents what you finally end up with, a 12% solution. You know that you're supposed to get 30 liters of that solution made up from however much you put in here. Let this be the unknown, x liters of this solution, and the total, 30 liters minus x, of that solution. And then you multiply these two together. The multiplication of each of those represents the amount of alcohol you have in, your, in each of your solutions, and those two should add up to the total amount of alcohol you have in your final solution. And that's how you do the problem. Give that a try.